This is part two of this beach scene with resin tutorial. I'll be pouring the final wave, but before that, I need to remove this tape. It's been on for two days for the first two layers, and I won't leave the tape on any longer than two days because the resin starts setting and it's really difficult to remove it. So I'll replace it between layers. And you would have seen me using my heat gun. I do that to warm up the resin because it softens it so it makes it much easier to peel that tape off. And the tape I use is just Blue Painters tape from the hardware store. For the Aussies, it, you can get it from Bunnings. Some of the resin did seep down through the tape. That does happen. I always have to paint my edges white with white acrylic paint. Usually, sometimes I'm lucky and I don't have to, but typically I've got a touch up some areas or I just do the whole thing white so it's a consistent shade of white. I'm very particular. I like my work to be high quality. So don't be um, discouraged if some of your resin is seeping through and leaking through. It's quite normal. I think it happens to me all the time. Then just make sure that tape is stuck on very well. Press it down on all sides and on the back because that's right, you want to avoid those leakages. And I get onto this as soon as I wake up in the morning before, because I know that resin's been on there for two days on the first layer. So it's best to get to it as soon as you can to remove that tape. It'll make it just so much easier. Okay, so that's step one of my prep done. Now for two, it's all about sanding. Now I sand between coats with this sandpaper. It's about, I think this one's an 80 grit. You can... 80 to 120 is usually what I use. Now if you're wondering why I am sanding it's so that the resin layer has something to stick to because resin is such a shiny surface it doesn't have any texture for the layer above it to stick to so the sanding roughs it up and gives it a texture and some tooth so that that um, the next layer of resin has something to attach to so it can stick to it. Because word on the street is it can actually peel off if you don't do this sanding. So it's an important part. Don't skip it. It's tempting as it is. And it's important to note that I am only sanding over the section. See where I'm pointing? That's where my line's going, where I plan it to go. So I'm only sanding above that line where the next layer is going to pour on. Otherwise, you're going to end up with all these scratch marks on your resin. Okay, now that the prep's done, I get to pour my resin. So I'm using art resin and I'm pouring or mixing equal amounts so of resin and hardener. And I use my kitchen scales to get an accurate measurement. And then I stir it with a plastic knife or a silicone stick because um, the wooden craft sticks, you can actually get air, bu air bubbles can be trapped in the wood and it's released into the resin. Now I know I say this all the time but I really do love to use art resin because it doesn't have any VOCs and fumes. Now you don't have to wear a mask if you're in a well ventilated room. Sometimes I do wear a mask because I've only got one window open. Now my go-to white if you haven't noticed is Angel White by La Res Expressions right now. Um, I like it because it just pairs beautifully with the art resin. Like the lacing you can see how it's formed down there on the first wave. You can also see how nice and thick that white's come out in that line. See how straight the line is, like clean? I left it so it was really thick. I want to make sure this is three-dimensional. And to get that thickness, I just let it sit in the cup after I mixed it for about 10 to 15 minutes before I poured that line. Now, I've added a little bit too much white than I would have liked. I can see my dolphins are just going to get totally covered up, so I'm going to have to try and push some of it off and spread it out. See my dolphins, I'm losing them. I like some of the white to be on the dolphins, but not that much. I'll use the blowtorch in a moment to bring out some more of that lacing and pop the bubbles. You always have to finish off with popping the bubbles. You notice I didn't pour any color, I should mention that. The third layer, I didn't, it was just clear resin. There was enough color. If I had have added more color, I would have lost my dolphins and the little stuff floating underneath the ocean. But just make sure you don't keep blowing that heat gun too much because you can burn the resin and all sorts of things can happen. I've had the dimpling um, 
You can actually, it can start smoking. <laughs> There's all sorts of things. So just be mindful of that. You can see that with this layer, I did overlap it over the other one. I just wanted to cover up some sand because I've just, this piece just has a little bit too much sand for my liking. I really expected that first wave to have dropped lower to cover my sand, but it didn't. So that's okay. It's fine. Next time I'll have more water and less sand. For the final layer, I always try and work quickly. So I'm not getting my phone out to film for social media this time because I want to cover it from dust as soon as I can. And that's all for this tutorial. So thank you so much for watching. My name's Michelle Tracy.